What is up everyone, my name is Jesse, this is The Auditorium, I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is a debut for the game called Haven. This is composed by Danger, and the song is called uh, 0442, still free, I think that's a time stamp, and from the channel G4F Records. Now, before I get into this, or uh, in requested by Wetfly on Patreon, before I get into this, this looks da dangerously similar to Fury. So I don't know if these games are connected. Same composer. I do recognize this is the same channel on YouTube, and I know Danger is part of that. So let me know what's up with that. I've never heard of Haven. And I'm pretty sure from the comment sections that Danger likes to name their songs based on like the time they wrote them. So that's why I think that's the timestamps. So, yeah. I thought it was, like, when I looked at it, I thought it was like, is this a Fury quest? But it's not. It says Haven. So I don't know what Haven is. So I have a kind of sound I think I'm going to expect. Maybe electronic. But either way, everything I've heard from Fury or these composers, top notch. So I'm excited. And it's a new game. I always like new games. So thank you, Wetfly. Let's go. 0442 still free. We have visualizations. This is also my only request for this game. That's cool. All of our senses are being tickled right now. That's one way to promote your... Look okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. I wish every video was like that on this channel. <laughs> Has the comp composer, everything. Cool. Um, you know, I don't have a whole lot to say, but I have some stuff to say. Uh, I mostly just really enjoyed the sound of that uh, for a couple of reasons. It obviously doesn't... I don't get many songs that sound like this on the channel. This sort of electronic house thing and... You know, so it stands out in that regard. 
Also, the big thing, two things stood out, but one was this is a whole different energy that I was not expecting from, from Danger. You know, when I hear, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring up Fury because it's, it's like what I are familiar with. When I think of Fury, I think of like a hard hitting, big punchy sound of electronic beats and, you know, kind of synth wavy stuff, but it's very, it's like aggressive. So this was more on the sort of like vibe thing. I was just kind of, ooh, like where we, like I felt very drifty and it still had that feeling, but it was a different energy. So it's really nice that a producer can kind of venture into different realms of their musical like space. They don't just stick to this dot, 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 or whatever that maybe they can do different things, different beats, different tempos. And I really like that. That being said, speaking of beats and all that. So actually what I was trying to say by that is that it didn't sound like Fury at all. You know, it sounded like its own game, which is what they're going for. So mission accomplished. Now, that being said, uh, it's always very interesting and rare when I hear something I've never heard for the first time in my life. And in this case, uh, there was something that I've never heard in my life, and that was that very unique drum pattern. Where it was like just, you know, the regular like 4-4 beat, but then it had that little tail end. Doo -doo -doo. Let me see if I can actually play it. It, it. it repeated throughout the whole song, but let me just... Never heard a beat like that before. Yeah, that. So it's the total. So, I mean, just for that alone, I have to give it props because. I mean, think about it. How often do you go about your day and hear a new beat? What beats haven't been done before? I'm sure that exists somewhere else, but it's probably very rare. People stick to the same kind of beats that everyone knows and loves because they can groove to it. And there is a underlying groove underneath that. But I like when people take chances and do things. And at this point, it's a, it's a weird thing to think about, but everything's been done in music. More or less. There's only 12 notes, at least in Western music. Um, you know what I mean? There's only there's only 22 frets on a guitar. There's only 88 keys. There's only so many percussions and time signatures. Like everything's been done. So many bass lines. So when you hear just a slightly little different nuance, it sticks out, at least to me. So even though the whole song was uh, doing its thing, I, I really kept focusing on that that pattern and and then when I kept building upon it That's when it was like, oh, this is cool. So just for that alone. I have to give it props because um, I, I love hearing new things, you know, I'm in my 30s. I don't I don't hear new things. I hear new songs with you know different melodies and stuff, but it's not often you hear like something uh, fresh as far as like trying a new percussion some, it sounds like something that would be so simple, but then again, I kind of pay attention to everything, so that's just me. Other than that, uh, it's, that's mostly the only two things I got. It's the different energy from Fury. I don't know what came first, although this seems newer. Um, but I really do like that Danger has this uh, ability to create different sounds based on the game. And I just, I like the artistic touch of adding the timestamp to, um, it's funny because anyone who's ever watched this that is a musician, has recorded any sort of home recording or anything, they know they'll have like, you know, recording one, and then like recording one A, and then recording final, and then recording final two, you know, we have our file names and stuff like that. So I feel like that's kind of what they did and they just turned it into like an artistic uh, flair into their titles and they just put their timestamps or something. So I think that's really cool. And uh, I'm not, I 
I don't know that, but it seems like that's what the, that that's where that idea would have come from. Either way, uh, very cool stuff. I don't know what Haven is, and that's the only request I have for Haven, so that kind of sucks. But very cool, and it seems like both Fury and uh, Haven players have something to uh, that they can share. I wonder if there's other composers as well in this one, since. Uh, they always seem to go out of their way to say who composed what. Or maybe this is just danger only. I don't know. Let me know. But that was awesome. And, uh, yeah. We heard something new for the first time. Right. Thank you to Wetfly. Thanks to everyone that you see here. Let me know more about this game. If you played it, how close are they to Fury? Are they really the same, same developers? Whatever. Let me know. My name is Jesse. Peace. Take it easy.